every landowner dreams of a nest egg to put away for their retirement. Perhaps a tree plantation like this one. These hardwoods are ready for harvest. They're about 15 metres high and each will produce around a cubic metre of timber worth approximately $900. And how long did it take for this investment to mature? In most plantations, for just about every tree species grown in volume in Australia, harvesting would occur after 25 years. But these trees are unique. They have an incredible growth rate which brings them to maturity after just three years. After growing about six metres in their first six months, they're ready to wood chip in three years and produce millable timber in five. It takes both Maranti and red cedar, the closest domestic replacement, about five times as long to mature. This tree here is eight years old. It's about 60 feet tall and at the moment it's got a girth. I can hardly reach around it as you can see and the girth breast high is 66 inches. We've calculated this 1.2 cubic metres of log up to the first branch there and it could easily be used for timber cutting now. It's more than ready to harvest but because it's one of our favourite trees we're not going to harvest it, we're just going to let it get bigger and bigger. The perception that you can grow a tree and harvest it within, in less than 10 years is a very important economic factor. Jeff says the freedom this sort of income insurance gives the growers is especially welcome in the present economic climate. We have timber that's been harvested three years old and we've got it eight years old. And there isn't a really big significant difference. But once you get it into the field like, and put it out at the plantation development stage, after about the first three to six months of an, 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 an initial stage there, it, it, it's more or less duty free. You don't have to do anything. And once all that's happened, you can cut them down to the ground and they grow straight back. Because once it's been finished off and placed in view, it will, is what people want to see. And this is what consumers see. Pale, fine grain timber ready to be used raw or stained just about any colour. It's easy to handle and the logs can be left where they're felled. The timber won't warp or buckle. It doesn't even have to be kiln dried. It can be left to air dry for several weeks, then a mill like this can be set up directly over the top. This keeps mid-level costs down. The boards can be taken directly from the farm to the timber yard. To the cutting edge of genetic engineering technology, they're cloning kiri trees. Amazing plants which grow one metre a month, reaching 20 metres in just five years. Each shoot is cut into five. The pieces grow in a special gel and can be cloned a further five times, meaning one shoot can produce an infinite number of trees. The technology is seen as so vital to supplying the world's timber industry, an American company is sponsoring the charity to continue its work. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Save the World, and thank you very much uh, for giving your attention today. We'd like to introduce uh, the Kiri tree to you. We have a tree here that grows an inch a day, and full maturity in five years. We're 60 foot high in a matter of five years' time, and around about a foot and a quarter in diameter. The particular tree uh, has grown in this environment a metre a month, and uh, we plan to harvest the tree between three and a half years and five years. Save the World has many different technologies. This, is, this one in particular is very exciting. We're doing 5,000 acre plantations at a time, and those plantations will produce a minimum of $271 million net, uh, which is a lot of net profit per, per 5,000 acres. The uh, trees will be exported uh, to different countries in the world, Save the World Technologies uh, Incorporated USA has now got a new company in Australia called Save the World Technologies Limited, which will also be on the stock exchange in Australia. So there'll be a lot of uh, different uh, countries in the world taking up our technologies and producing the trees uh, through our technology on a worldwide basis. We'll be looking for joint ventures and people that are interested in uh, investing in our company 
uh, also on a worldwide basis, and we'll be starting in the USA uh, with our advertising campaign right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome uh, our special guest of honour here today, and uh, Mr. Jeff Graham. Thank you very much for coming, Jeff. And uh, I've been a great fan of yours and your family for many, many years, and it must be a tremendous thing to come back to this country and uh, and uh, be so well received. Uh, I've been away a long time and been racing overseas, obviously. It's just nice to uh, come back home eventually and uh, catch up with all my old friends. What do you think of our uh, tree technology and the uh, super trees, the tree that has saved the world technology? I think it's very impressive. Um, you know, it certainly is huge to me, and I haven't seen anything like this before. And uh, to come out here and uh, just learn about it, it's uh, really informative, and uh, look forward to see how it goes. In the